Welcome back, folks, to some more Icewind Dale 2. I am your nasally nerded sounding game host, the Game Hoarder. I had to say something because I've been accused of having a nasally nerdy voice. Like an arrow. Which is most likely from a fucking nasally nerd. Anyways, enough of the trolling. What's up? Good as gold. I do it too. Fuck him. What now? What now? I steal this bitch's shit. That's what now. Mm. Yes? Alright, not sure we ever went over the characters in any more depth. I did skip the character creation process. Now, of course I understand that... Uh, you know, making a deep gnome uh, is going to severely hamper the uh, leveling ability. But I really wanted to make this kind of a different, the normal party. Uh, this isn't supposed to be a powerhouse party. I wanted it to be a little bit more challenging in any ways. And I wanted to just really be free and pick what I felt like picking. And just creating a diverse party. Uh, I knew right away I wanted a drow wizard. Uh... And of course, I have to have my paladin Ronstock because he's in every fucking uh, D and D game that I do. Uh, Lug Lug, my half orc barbarian. I mean, come on, who doesn't want a half orc barbarian? So, anyways, uh, hey, okay. I'm mm -hmm. trying to learn the system here. Again, we're dealing with third edition rules, so we're not going to see negative four armor class and be happy about that. Uh, right here we have Ronstock, a male uh, Asimar, lawful good paladin of Helm. 18 strength, 16 dexterity, 16 constitution, 10 intelligence, 12 wisdom, 8 charisma. Now most Asimar have higher charisma. I actually took a couple points away to buff up other stats just because I found that they'd probably be more helpful. Uh, even though, uh, yes, he is my lead guy, yes, he is my diplomat. Um, but in a game like Icewind Dale, uh, conversing, parlaying, bartering, things that involve speech and uh, having a charismatic character don't so much come into play as does, say, a armor class and hit points and to hit. He's going to focus a lot on swords. Uh, Lug Lug, of course, my half-orc barbarian, has 20 strength, 18 dexterity, 18 constitution. Not very smart. Uh, does have a little, you know, of average wisdom, uh, just because you know he, he did grow up in an orc tribe, uh, and then later was abandoned by his tribe and raised by humans. So he does have a bit of uh, knowledge in the history of both races. Uh, so he's a little bit more wise than the average orc. Charisma, however, well, we'll explain later why he always wears a metal mask over his face, even by half orc standards lug lug is extremely extremely not only unattractive but uh since he's missing his tongue he's also not quite uh the charismatic character you would even expect from a half orc i'm going to get pretty detailed in the biographies of all these characters at some point i'm still writing on all of them um and i'm going to put quite a bit of a backstory into it which of course uh, is a little bit different than most people do for their Icewind Dale 2 playthrough. Nixus is a deep gnome. Or, uh, excuse me, Grey Dwarf. Grey Dwarf. I kept calling her a deep gnome. She's actually a Grey Dwarf. She's Druagar. Uh, so she has 18 strength, 18 dexterity, 18 constitution, 8 intelligence, 8 wisdom, 4 charisma. I'm uh, pretty sure I misquoted many times in the first video saying she was Sniver Oblivion or whatever the fuck the deep gnomes are called. Sniver Oblivion. Uh, but she's actually Druagar. Uh, probably a little bit less of a hit on the, uh, the levels there. Clot is back from Icewind Dale 2. She's our human female cleric. She uh, has an exempl exemplary uh, wisdom. Uh, very high constitution. So she will be our cleric. Uh, I did kind of cheap out on her strength a little bit. 
because I don't plan on using her as a combat cleric right away. Uh, maybe we'll find some gauntlets or something that increase her strength and will be more uh, helpful for her than, say, our fighters. Quainry spent probably 15 minutes looking or creating this guy's name. It means powerful mage in the actual drow language uh, that was created by the Forgotten Realms writers. Uh, not sure how much R.A. Salvatore had to actually do with the language, but I'm pretty sure he had a, a big hand in that. This guy has 20 dexterity and 20 intelligence, uh, making him a quite nimble wizard uh, and also extremely intelligent. Um, of course, I went low on charisma. I don't think anyone besides Dritz that's drow in the Forgotten Realms is going to have much of a good correspondence with any of the char other characters. So I felt it uh, appropriate to take away a lot of his charisma in this situation. Now, if this was an Underdark adventure, I probably would have left it alone because obviously to his people, uh, it wouldn't be that, that low. Um, but overall, I think uh, he is uh, not too charismatic. Very silent uh, and a withdrawn drow. And most are that uh, leave their Underdark home to come live on the, the surface. Even Drist was for several years of his life. Uh, he was kind of a watcher and observer more than a uh, socialite. Mazria. She is our Asimar sorceress. She has 20 charisma, which is going to help a lot on her spells. 16 dexterity, which is pretty nice, and a decent constitution. Alright, so anyways, without wasting too much time on the characters, let's get back into the game. Me? Now, of course, there's a thousand better builds out there, but... This is the game hoarder build. No worries. You can tell me how awesome it is, or how what? shitty it is. I'll still love you. Here I go. Here we go. Now this town has been overrun by goblins galore. Our current quest right now is really just to get a potion for a guard that's been badly wounded in the uh, near the entrance by where we got off our boat here. Warhammer. At this point, we'll take anything we can get. No worries. Uh, Warhammer, actually, we'll give that to our... we got to get rid of this firewood. So we'll give the bludgeoning weapon to Clot, since that is her forte. What's up? What now? Hey? Eh? Easy as Done. goblin pie. Full goblins, then get the torch in my boat. No worries. Now, first thing I kind of like to do is uncover all the blackness on my maps, and then I can really uh, decide decide on the layout where I want to go. However, we're gonna rush to the warehouse here. Uh, we actually don't have a thief at this point. I'm going to make our Grey Dwarf a fighter-thief combination. I just don't feel a pure thief is worth having. I just, I Done. don't. And by the end of the game, you know, uh, they're great for picking locks and finding traps, but honestly, that's not going to make or break a party. Uh, so I think a fighter-thief combination is just fine. In this case, we'll bash the door down with a high strength character. As what? you can see. So that's how it is. Just as effective. Whoa, shit monkeys. By Duldon's wake, you scared the last life out of me. You one of the mercenary bands under Ubrek's coin? Yes. We just sailed into port on the Wicked Witch. What happened? Name's Magdar Shinnan. I'm the harbor master. When I saw the goblins prowling through town, I fell back to the warehouse here and barred the door. Any word from Targos' guard? Are they sending reinforcements? We ran into three of the guard by the docks. One had been killed, and another, Rig, had been goblin axe in the arm. He asked me to find you and see if you had any healing potions to spare. Rig? 
was thinking me a wealthy man. As he thinks to put all of Targos' shipment and supplies at your disposal, in which case I have much to spare. I think there are some healing droughts in one of the recent shipments from Brinshanda. It's locked up in one of the crates in this warehouse, but without my logbooks I can't tell you which one of the crates is the right one. The healing droughts be in one of these barrels? Might be, but I doubt it. Most of the barrels in your whole weapon shipment from Luskin. Though, so it can't hurt to bash them open and arm yourself properly. Best I can tell you to start searching the crates and barrels one by one, and don't hesitate to take anything you need to help you split a goblin skull or three and drag them out of Targos. So, it'll be alright if we just split these barrels open? Aye, don't worry, you won't hurt their feelings. Just pretend you're chopping a goblin in two, and you'll make short work of them. But the crate with the potions is locked. Somehow I know this. Aye, you need to hack the crate open unless you can pick the lock. Who has the key? Well, the shipments are under protection of Galloway Coast, but don't fear them. We have an emergency on our hands. Take what you need. We'll worry about sorting things out later. We'll see about paying them back after the goblins have been driven out of the town. If we survive this, you can be sure the flamehead whelp near Galloway will raise the dead. But Targos is in danger, and Lord Ulbrick will stand with us. This warehouse is huge. Searching it will take too long. And you'd best get to it. Sounds like Rig is in a bad way. The sooner than you can find the shipment, the better. We'll start searching then. Meantime, Mora, bless your efforts. I hope you can get to Rig in time to help him. I'll head out and see if I can warn the rest of the town. Very well. Yeah, All right, so let's start bashing this. What's this? We're just going to, uh, yeah, start bashing shit. Oh, showed you. Holy shit. Got some goblins coming in here. Yes, Aluve. Your desire as you will. Yes, I will succeed. I'm here, on my way. Where are they at? Won't take long. You have my undivided attention. Yes, what it shall it? be Aluve. done. Point me. Won't take long. How may I shall do my best? I'm gonna work for those mages. That's right. What is it? Fucking green turd. Eat that. Consider it done. Me, a little green walking turd. What's up? No worries. Don't worry. These solid wooden crates look like they are stuffed with furs and pelts from Lonelywood. Of course, we can hit the alt key to see everything. Sling, sling stones. We have some. Uh oh. You know what that means? You have failed to force the lock. But not that time I didn't. What's this? We'll pick up all this shit and divvy it out later. That you fucking barrel. What now? No worries. Okay, bows are important. Bows are important. I was allowed to steal that sacred stash, too. Keg. D. 
death. You have killed the keg. Sounds like a party I'd be at. Pretty sure we found the potions. But we're gonna search every fucking bloody last barrel. Coming on! Holy sheep turd. Oh, you're gonna give me all these fucking smooth stones and no sling, eh? I think that's pretty much it. Hey? No worries. Let's gather everyone hmm. together. Alright, we have a battle axe 1d8. Assume that trumps our hand axe. Until I, I'm thinking about going ambi dexterity, uh, getting some ambi dexterity and uh, dual uh, wielding daggers on the thief. Uh, thinking about it, I'm not sure if that is a good idea. If I'm going to do backstabbing and sneaking, it certainly seems to be effective in Skyrim, though. Alright, pretty much everyone can use some leather. Sor sorcerers are okay to use uh, crossbows, right? Even if there's a mega penalty, she should use it, in my opinion. I think mages can even use bows. Probably you aren't, aren't going to hit it, but it's alright. And we have some small shields here. We'll give the stones to our cleric, because she'll use those eventually. And we have the potions of healing there. A bottle of wine to celebrate later. Some iron rations for hit points. Log log. Good for yeah. now. Let's return the no let's the health potions to homeboy before he dies. Done. Here's the healing potion. It should help. Drink it down. Thanks down the hatch. Oh, I think those damn alchemists can learn to make potions that taste like dwarven stout instead of gutter runoff. Looks like you sailed into Targos at the right time. If you can help us hunt down any of those goblins, we welcome your help. See what I can do. What's up? All right. So I think they want us to clear the rest like of the town. It sounds like. this coming. Halt! Identify yourself! The adventures from Luskin. What's going on here? Stormhawk! There's a bond of goblin raiders cornered inside the warehouse. It was awaiting the cell swords and the salty dog before rushing in. Time's short, though. If those raiders start to fire within the warehouse, they'll set the dark and ship some lies. The cell swords from the salty dog? Yes, last one was Iron Collar Infantry Company was drinking out the salty dog traffic. Ulbrich is paying them good coin. We need their swords here. Am 
most of the horde here in arms, but I fear those drunkards may be sleeping at the bottom of a wine cask now. Look, there's no reason to wait for those mercenaries. Let me go in and take those goblins out for you. You? <laughs> Have you ever seen battle? We need seasoned warriors here, not pups paid to be soldiers. Where's the salty dog tap? I can go find those cell swords you're waiting for and bring them in. The salty dog rides along the south side of docks near the shoreline. Make haste. Very well. Watch yourself. We'll return shortly. But now, good as gold, okay? Done. Like an arrow. Well, if he wants us to get everybody, that's fine. I could probably handle it myself, but whatever. She spits on me full in the face. What? Like an arrow. Ha! More would be heroes up by the river of light and Bremen's fires, yes? Well, whether you're saviors or cell swords, have a drink with me. Uh, do you know goblins are attacking the town? Ha! Goblins and toggles? Nay, friend. We would have heard the warning horn from the palisade. The night's been silent, it has. Well, at least there's been no goblins in here. Take me for a simple tribesman, do you? It's no jest. Goblins are running along Targos' dock. We must take action. Are you serious, then? I can see by your eyes it's true, damn it all. I think the cowardly bastards would attack now. So, you'll come help us? Ha! Ever since I refused to serve on the palisade and freeze my stones off. The Targos God has forbidden me to use my axe within city walls. Not my choice, but I gave my word. Cannot break it. Ah, but that doesn't mean I couldn't sell iron to you should you need it. I'm a traitor. Could be in some arms stashed away for a moment such as this. You look like you could use some good iron by your side. Well, what do you have? Because I got some shit I need to get off my chest. Buy and sell. Um, uh, yeah. what about, there we go, hey, look. buy and sell his goods and my goods, I got goods too, do you want to buy my goods, because I too have some goods, please buy some firewood from me. What do I have? A whopping 193 gold? Well... <coughs> 1d10 weapon would be nice. 43 gold, though. We'll take a sling for the cleric. And we'll take a long sword. And we'll take some arrows. That's good. I await your instructions. Yeah. On my way. 
It gets better. So then the feisty wench thinks to strike me, eh? So she grabs the bottle. And as hard as she can... <coughs> Joffrey, my friend. Seems one of the serving boys wants a word. Eh? What are you on about, huh? The devil do you want? Are you the iron collar mercenary, then? Trap some goblin raiders inside one of the warehouses along the docks. They need your help to drive them out. So what? The hell do you think you are? Button into my tail while I'm sharing a tankard with my friends. Strange you may help. You don't know who you're speaking to. Do we are the Iron Carlo Band, an adventuring company all the way from Cormier. Ah, thought we, <laughs> we had to leave Cormier in some haste. Launch it, my friend. Cormier was not kind to us, was it? All those venturing dues, contracts, laws, so many laws. Stop playing hard with the air and fill my tank. Lips are drying out from listening to Joffrey's boasting. So you prefer Colum's company over the filthy connection of rags that calls himself a wizard? A pox on you then. You're lucky I don't cleave you from neck to crotch. You're needed at the warehouse. Are you coming or not? By every god and his mother, what manner of half brain fool are you? Well, come on, we're down now ready. Aye, friend Joffrey's wisdom is keen. Our tankards are still full, and there's bound to be plenty of garments waiting for us when we reach the bottom. Targos will keep, I say. Get out of our sight. Go back to whatever mangy hound burnt you. You'll find more trouble than your mere garments. What's up? All right, these guys don't want to help. Fuck them. Like an arrow. No worries. We'll do it ourselves. In fact, if you want something ever done right, do it yourself. But for crying out loud, make sure you say first. Find the iron collar band with you? They're not coming. Too many kegs to slaughter in the salty dog to come to Targos' aid. Let us handle the goblins. All right then, time more will grace your blades. Time is against us. The goblins have locked the door from the inside. We we'll need to break it down. Do you have the key? No. We we'll need to bash down the door with your weapons. Unless you have a lusty thief blood running through your veins, in which case you might be able to jig the lock. Stand back. Game order coming through. What now? Here I go. Hey, good as gold. Let's do this. Hmm? Here I go. What can I consider it done? I'm ready. I'm on my way. Me? On my way. Give the word. I'm off. Ellen, yes. Mala, oh, yes. I am ready as well. What? Here I go. What do you want? Neither of those are helpful. But this might be. Tell me what. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Giant beetle attack! I will do. Usta quart. What's up? Done. Fight on it. How about my beetle? Ready, no problem. Fuck yeah, beetle power. I'm listening. I will succeed. What now? What now? Here I go. We raid this motherfucker. My god, there's a dead fucking cat in there. That's gross. 
No wonder this place smells like stinky pussy. Thought it was me. You have found a great axe! No, really, it's great. Lug Lug want axe. You give Lug Lug axe now, Ron's duck. Okay, okay. Okay, Lug Lug. Here's your axe. Chill down, big Chill down, big guy. Lug Lug no want little pussy shit. Lug Lug wants super big fucking axe. Me cleave goblin and twine. Lug Lug. Hey. All right, that's Lug Lug for hmm? you. So that's how it is. So that's how it is. Ooh, I wonder if that's trapped. Hmm. Well, the worst part is, is I don't have a thief to untrap it. Maybe it's not trapped. Alrighty then. Let's go down the cellar door. Me? We'll do that in the next video. I gotta watch it because at this resolution, uh, using uh, my video recorder, we're already uh, getting too close to the two gig mark. So we need to really keep our videos at 30 minutes.